Good evening, God's people. My name is Frank Ayala, Brother Frank Ayala, and welcome to this evening's uh, Stay Connected series. And uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts, um, just a few thoughts uh, concerning uh, this week. We had a, a funeral service for a dear sister that went home to be with the Lord. Um, her name was Kuka, Sister Kuka. Kukita, she was lovingly called by her friends and family, and um, I just wanted to share some thoughts. I was blessed to be there, and there was many people there just uh, being a part of this um, this service. And um, when I came home from the service, um, I was looking at the brochure, and on the front it said Ruth Saviles. A beautiful picture of Sister Ruth, uh, Sister Kuka. And um, I was looking up Ruth in the Bible, and it, it's a Hebrew word. And the meaning means friend and friendship. And I was thinking, boy, that that describes her. That describes Sister Kuka. And uh, it's a beautiful name. And... Um, she was um, just a friendly person. She would give words of encouragement. Uh, she would ask how your uh, children are doing. And, you know, she would say, oh, she had photos. She would go through her photo book. And she was just a delight to be around. And I was thinking, oh, boy, what a beautiful testimony she left here in our midst. And she had a sense of humor and and she would share little quips here and there and or jokes. And uh, she was a blessing to be around and just a pleasant person. And I was thinking, boy, what a beautiful quality to be pleasant, to have that testimony and uh, smile on her face. And, you know, and I'm sure she had challenges through the years. She, you know, she had problems at times but nonetheless she she would come to church and she didn't show it you know and praise the lord she was able to put those those things which were very important to her aside and and come and be with god's people and um i have to share this one incident um Years ago, I was a mailman in, in Rancho Cucamonga, so I would deliver to all the neighborhoods in Rancho Cucamonga and uh, many different routes I would deliver. So one time I was delivering there in the Vadio and um, I was just putting the mail in the mailbox and she came out. She was so excited. She wanted to tell me about her grandbabies that were just born and uh, Stephanie and Barbara and I, I didn't know her because I was a, a substitute in a way. I didn't have a regular route. So she wanted me to go inside. I said, okay. <laughs> and like I said, I didn't know her. And uh, she was so proud of her two little grandbabies. there in the two bassinets. And, uh, but that was her character. And she wasn't a Christian yet. It wasn't until, you know, a little later in years, a few years, that she became a Christian, she got saved, she became a Christian. And uh, that just, you know, we become a Christian and she just was blessed, a, a blessed person. I know she was before, but as a believer, praise the Lord, she became a, a, a sister in the Lord. And um, so that was her character, just a friendly person and uh I have to share one other thought. There was a church I attended in the beginning when I first became a believer. And there was a dear brother there. He was a, actually, I believe he was a substitute teacher. And the church was just starting a Bible school. So he chose, you know, they chose their subjects, 1 Corinthians. He chose a, a, a class and he named it Heroes of the Faith. And I was thinking about that, pondering about that, and I thought, Sister Kuka, she is one of my heroes of the faith. And uh, praise the Lord. And as Paul said, 
he says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And Sister Kuka kept the faith to the very, to her last day here on earth. She kept the faith. What a testimony, beautiful testimony. She always had a smile on her face. And uh, it's beautiful to be fruitful like that, to, to show the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the joy and and the smile, oh, it's so awesome that, that we can put aside our problems or our, our little ways and just, you know, just to be a witness for the Lord. And she surely was. And um, I know our founding pastor would say, as we become older in the Lord, we become more like cream puffs. I mean, we don't shy away from the truth. Don't, you know, we still preach the word of God, the, the Bible. But at the same time, we, we, we grow in character in the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fruit grows, and praise the Lord. I just wanted to share these thoughts with you. I hope you were encouraged um, by these thoughts of, of our dear sister and her family. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.